guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a highlight and contouring using only foundation well first thing first you want to go ahead and prime your face as always the purpose to this is to help you achieve a uh, natural highlighting and contouring uh, that doesn't require so much product now as foundation I am using a lighter uh, two shades lighter than my skin tone under my eyes as highlighting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do like a triangle shape under your eyes and also your uh, chin, um, your forehead, and also the bridge of your nose. You want to make sure you cover a, a quite a bit of the area because that's what you're using as to cover your whole face. So um, you're going to go ahead and do that bigger than normal. Now going in, I am contouring my face using a darker shade. This one is three shades darker than my skin tone. It is kind of hard to see on camera, but it is three shades darker than my skin. You want to go ahead and do that right on the hollows of your cheek. And a way to figure that out, you kind of uh, start from where your earlobe starts and you just drag it down. And also make sure you contour your nose if you would like to make it slimmer. Now it's time to blend the foundations. I am using a beauty blender. This one I spray it with some setting spray. You don't want to do it too dark because this is going to serve as a covered uh, foundation. So you don't want to use a wet, wet sponge. And you're just going to go ahead and blend all the hi uh, highlight um, foundation really, really nicely so you don't leave any harsh line whatsoever. It is very, very important to blend using this technique because you're not using anything else on top of it. So um, take your time and blend well. Now the following step here, I'm using the booty part of the beauty blender. Sounds crazy, huh? But I am blending the uh, darker shade with the lighter shade. You want to use a dabbing motion, but not too harsh. Um, da I'm blending it. When it comes to your cheekbone, you want to blend it upward um, because so you have like a really nice even finish, like you have a fist lift. That's kind of what it's going to look like. Um, in this tutorial, I kind of forget to blend the eyeshadow, the lighter eye um, foundation. But uh, now I'm grabbing this brush here to kind of blend everything um, so it doesn't look um, bad at all. But I did fix it at the end though. Using this brush, it kind of uh, makes sure that you are covering every spot that did not have the foundation. Again, this is a natural highlight and contouring, so it's not going to be a heavy one. Make sure you kind of blend everything. You don't want to leave nothing undone at all. And you, the next step here, I am setting my under eyes using my... Um, benign powder you want to make sure you set it I did not want to go too heavy with it because the purpose of this I did not want to have a cake face I wanted to have a natural um, the glow and a natural highlight so that's why I did not cake it heavy then afterwards I'm just gonna to make my contour appear a little bit darker I'm grabbing this a darker shade of um, um, powder I am um, applying that on everywhere I contour just to make the contour pop a little bit uh, harsh a little bit um, a little bit more I am you know I'm missing words but anyways next step here uh, you want to go ahead and dust away all the excess of the powder and um, I like to use the rest of it to blend towards the rest of my face I'm in love with this brush, you guys. Make sure you check the description box below so you can get all the products. Now it's time to apply my blush. I am using my BH Cosmetics uh, uh, brush. I really, really love BH Cosmetics brush, if you did not know. Now it's the favorite part of it all. It's time to highlight. And um, you want to make sure you highlight because the whole purpose of this is to have a natural glow, a natural highlight and contour.
and voila this is the finished look you guys i really hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to subscribe ciao